All right, all right, we are here. I will be doing some Unlimited Mars real quickly after. I want to get all y'all's opinions on something. So basically, I wanted to get kind of an idea of these are the thing, the following things, subjects, items, itemized lists, whatever other synonyms I can I can't think of. Um. Basically, I have kind of things in mind that I want to do that I've been thinking of doing, but that I've been lazy about. I need to stop being lazy about it. And the first thing. The best way to stop being lazy about something is, well, the best way for me at least, is to tell people that I'm doing it. Because once people know that I'm doing something and they're expecting something, then I'm like, alright, I can't let these people down. I gotta get it to them. That's the way that I've always basically been kind of in life. Is that, like, in general, if I have something that's just, like, private, it's just, you know, my little thing, whatever, I take my time with it. But if people are, like, waiting on something, hoping for something, then I'm like, I want to get it to these people. So, basically, I uh, want to do a few things. Character tutorial. <laughs> That's a good start. Character tutorials. That's what I meant to say, and I said it right that time. Uh, only for Tager and Azrael, because those are the only two characters I really... I mean, I guess I could probably do one for Bullet, but who cares about Bullet? The character still sucks. Um, so and I do want to. I've been wanting to do them, and it's actually a good thing I didn't do it because I was planning on doing it uh, after I got the Japanese version. So like I would have an as not a Tayer one, but so I would have an Azrael one ready for when the American version dropped. And like I said, I'm kind of glad I didn't do it since CP 1.1 dropped like what two months after the American release. So basically, I mean it's not like Azrael has changed that much, but now you have you know the much easier dash. TK Sentinel dump for pre uh, for Oki. Um, the overdrive changes, growler changes are pretty big. Um, so I mean, you know, it's still it's it's uh, it would have been less relevant than you know me doing it now. Even then, CP 2.0 is going to be coming out in Japan arcades this fall, so people are probably going to stop caring about 1.1 by then anyway, because Persona 4 Arena will be out. So I'm sure a lot of people have just shifted their attention to that for the time being. Then obviously Exard will drop a little after that. So I mean like I don't know. I don't even know if it's worth it. That's why I'm kind of asking. Um, Cause I do still get a lot of questions like, hey, do you have any tips for me with Azrael? And so I figure, you know, probably the Azrael one's probably the one that's gonna get uh be desired more. Since I've never really had anybody ask me, hey, how do I play Tager since nobody plays Tager, since Tager is Tager's Tager. Like, you he has the tools. But they're not very good tools. You have to be an amazing player to make proper use of them, pure and simple. And it's just, most people don't have the time to commit to fighting games to become that type of player to the point where playing as Tager is not just an exercise of frustration. So, I, I, and Asriel is much different. Asriel is like, he's easy to pick up and do well with and very difficult to play like effectively at a high level against other high level players. But that's not that's not what online is. Azrael's much better uh, at a lower level than Tager will be. So basically, that's what I'm wondering. You know, do, would you like those? Um, another thing that I am thinking. Shit, what was the other thing that I was thinking of? Oh, Street Fighter. So basically, um, I did actually. I played some Street Fighter over the weekend. I think I mentioned it. I did poorly. I did like I started out really well. And then I lost like one match with Jury and that was about the 16 minute mark into the video and so you know how I've been splitting Street Fighter videos where like half of it is me playing as Jury and half of it is me playing as Hugo. And I... Ugh, I did... Let's... To say I did poorly with Hugo would be a massive understatement. I got... Like let me just... Let me just tell you how my Hugo experience went. The very first match I played uh, as Hugo was against... No, that was the second match. The first match... No, the first match was just against a Dalsum, which... It's fucking Dalsum, what do you do? So I lost that match. My very second match with Hugo was against PR Balrog. I mean, I'm not absolutely 100% positive it was PR Balrog. The dude's gamer tag was Balrog PR. But he used Evil Ryu. He had almost 4,000 player points and like 15,000 battle points. So, if it wasn't PR Balrog, it was still a very, very fucking good Evil Ryu, and I got my ass 
hit. It hurt. Then I play... I can't even remember. Anyway, basically, I did extremely badly. I won, like, one out of six matches, I think, with Hugo. And in the very last one that I finally was just like, fuck Hugo, I give up, was against this absolutely terrible Akuma player. Three times in one match, I got the fucking input nonsense, where if you're holding forward and then you do quarter circle forward... The Street Fighter will register that as a DP motion instead of as a quarter circle forward motion. Like, even though you ended it on a quarter circle forward, because you started with forward, down, down, forward, because a lot of people do DPs by just doing forward, quarter circle, forward, the Street Fighter is like, hey, let's not care about execution. Let's make it so that these in inputs can overlap and give this person this incredibly unsafe move instead of the move that will combo and give him a knockdown. And so I just, I lost to this just terrible painfully bad Akuma player because he got three huge punishes on me. Because I got the anti-air grab instead of Lariat. And it... Oof, fucking, I, like... I was about ready to just, like, fucking throw my stick out the window. Not really. Because I learned my lesson on that. I believe I th I've thrown a controller once in my life and I actually... I'm a big dude. I'm a big dude. When I throw things, things break. When things break, it costs money. It's not worth it. So, like, whenever I say, man, I was about to throw I never was. But, you know, that, that feeling. That feeling of just, like, I want to hit something. I want to throw something. Just, like, that brief flash of aggression following, you know, like, a, just a streak of badness. That's that's my That was my feeling at the moment. So, I dropped Hugo. I'm, I'm done with Hugo. I will never play Hugo again. because and, Well, at least I will never play Hugo so long as that terrible input exists. I, I just, I won't do it. I refuse to do it. And so I'm actually going to be picking up Makoto. And I'm going to be playing Jury and Makoto now. But, uh, I don't, I don't, I, I, I did, I lost, let me see. Because basically with Jury, I started out at something like 850 player points. And when I finished that first session with Jury, I ended with uh, a little over 1100. I was doing pretty well and I was, you know, starting to slowly gather up. Obviously 1100 player points is nothing. Uh, you know, like, decent players usually hover around, like, the mid-2000s. Good players hit the 3000s, and, like, the best players are usually 4000s and above. Uh, so obviously having 1100 player points, not exactly a huge achievement, but for me, it's a mark of improvement. I'm not, you know, I was winning, and I was getting points. And then I lost it all, Hugo. I went down, because I lost to somebody that had zero, that just zero, zero, like, they either made a new, um, account or whatever. And so I lost, like, a hundred something points to that. I lost to that Akuma, I lost like 80. I can't remember all of it, but suffice to say, I lost a lot of points. And then after after that like frustration with Hugo, I was just like, alright, I'm just going to pick Makoto for this match and see what I can remember. And so obviously I lost more points there. So I started out the day with like 850, got up to about 1100 with Jury, and now I'm down to like 630, I think. <laughs> I almost halved my player points, that's terrible. So yeah, that just, that just kind of shows how my Street Fighter day went. So after all of that rambling, my question in that regard is how many people are actually interested in that kind of... Because the thing that basically for me is that I'm so focused on trying to like learn things, to learn links, to learn frame traps, to learn proper pressure that I can't really properly analyze what's going on and commentate on what's going on. And so I don't think it's... All, I mean, like, it could be interesting from just seeing, like, okay, this is how he was last month. This is how he is this month. That kind of, like, just looking at the improvement. That's kind of inter That's kind of an interesting thing. But in regard... I, I don't see how it's really that terribly interesting to see me playing terribly against other bad low-point players. So that's my other thing. Like, how high of a um, of an interest rate is... Of an interest rate? is a 13% interest rate. 13% APR! on Street Fighter 4 footage. No, um, just how, how much interest is there in seeing more Street Fighter videos, or would you rather I grind off camera and just, you know, improve as I can, and then once I get to a point where, like, I would say once I can consistently hover around at least 1,500 and play well against those kinds of players, and then, you know, see that I'm kind of coming out even, in that kind of territory, that would be the point where I would say, okay, at least I'm decent enough now where I won't be making a complete fool of myself and just, you know, having everybody facepalm every single time I press a button. That kind of thing. So that was, I wanted an opinion on that. 
what was my other thing? I mean, obviously, I'm still going to continue doing Persona 4. I'm still going to continue trying to do Blaze Blue Online. Just a quick thing about Blaze Blue Online. Like, it's not, it's not my connection. It, I checked on, P, you know, I've changed my connection settings. I've made sure to check, you know, to see, you know, get the network connection test to make sure nothing's changed. My connection's actually gotten slightly faster on PSN on average. It's like, I mean, it's nothing much. It's like one download, fa one download, uh, one megabyte per second download faster and like 0.5 upload faster. So it's not like a huge, massive difference, but still, it's better. My connection on average has gotten slightly better, whereas my connections when playing online on PSN have gotten drastically worse. And so I, I don't believe it's my connection, especially because I can play Street Fighter and like 80% of the connections are perfectly fine. As long as I pick three bars, um, they're almost always fine. But like on this one, on Blaze Blue, it always used to be three bars was perfect. Well, four and three, three and four bars were perfect. Two bars was around kind of what it is with Street Fighter. Usually around 80% of them are pretty much fine. And then sometimes you would get, you know, the odd one out that would be poor. One bar connections was kind of a coin toss. 50-50 chance, it's playable, it's not. Zero bars is when you're kind of flipping what it is for the two bars. Oh, I guess we do want course C anyway. Like, usually probably around like a third of those were playable, and then two-thirds of those just weren't worth doing, and then zero bars are zero bars. Lately it has been, I just, I haven't had a good connection. Like, at best, I have started out with a good connection. It begins well. The first round is great. The second round, there starts, there a few spots start to happen here or there, like it kind of stutters for a little bit. And then if it gets into the third round, the, it, those get more constant. They happen more and more. Like the longer the match goes on, the longer I play a certain person, the worse the lag gets. I don't know why that is. That never happened before. It has only happened for the past month. It was about like a week after Street Fi after Ultra Street Fighter 4 came out. Uh, people started complaining on various boards. It was on about Street Fighter. It was about, um, uh, I mean, basically anything people played online. They were saying their connections were terrible. They kept getting random disconnections they were never having before. Uh, in general, playing like ranked, just just playing ranked in various mo games was terrible, like absolutely unplayable. And the connections in general were just almost unplayable on PSN. Whereas Xbox was basically fine for everybody. And then, um,. That lasted for about a week or two weeks. And then if that that level of badness stopped, but it never got back to how good it was. And that's why I say, you know, like I haven't really had a, qu a high quality, good connection for almost a month. I really haven't. Like that's not an over exaggeration. Even against Zong One, I had, there were spots in there. Like I said, like the longer the match went on, the higher the chance was that there would be just a random lag spike in the middle of it. So, I, I don't believe it's my connection at all. I'm, I believe it's PSN. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if something, you know, if PS4 is fucking it up. You know, maybe they made changes to PSN to uh, like streamline PS4 and that had uh, effects un unknown or unforeseen effects on PS3's net like network or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I just know that between the Japan release and about a month or two after the American release. I was basically having fine connections with the majority of people that I played against, so long as I was avoiding zero bar connections. And for the last month, I haven't had a good connection regardless of what the game says, regardless of what the game tells me. So I don't know what's going on there, but obviously I can hope it fixes itself. So after all that shit, to summarize, options of things that I should focus on. Making a tutorial for Asriel and Tager, and obviously I'm going to want be these to be as thorough as possible, so they're going to require some work. I want to make sure I have all the necessary information to succeed. I want to make sure, you know, I go through... Basically, I'm going to go through... Like, if I do a tutorial, I am going to go through every single normal. Benefits, downsides, um, kind of just listing, you know, like the various uh, things it has. You know, like, does it have any upper body invincibility, full body invincibility, that kind of shit. If it's safe on block or if it's punishable on block. Uh, you know, like that kind of thing. Then I'd go into obviously the same thing for special moves, do the same thing for distortions, and then I would go into, um, uh, what's it called? I get what would I do? I don't even know, but it, basically, I would want it to be very thorough, so they'd probably end up being pretty long in general. So it, it would take me some time to make sure I had all the information down proper, to make sure I had it, you know, a solid game plan, so I don't end up rambling like I always do. So those would require some work. Character tutorials first. 
Second option would be focusing more on recording more Street Fighter stuff regardless of the level I am at. Or if you would rather I wait and get to a decent level where I'm not completely terrible first. Third option would be, do you want, like, would you like, because obviously, like I said, I'm going to still have Persona 4 going on. I have committed myself to that. But would you like me to also do some shorter games? Maybe even not doing, like, full playthroughs of them, but just doing, like, certain parts. So, like, I just do, like, an hour of gameplay of, um, uh, I don't know, some random game. It's just some random action game that would be fun to watch. Not necessarily, like I said, not necessarily doing a full playthrough, but just doing some gameplay of it, just for fun, just for shits and giggles. Do a short mini-series on it, and then move on to a next similar situation, that kind of thing. Another game series I was actually pondering, but I'm not sure how that'll work out, because of, um... Basically, I just I don't really know what games I would use for it, but kind of a game series I was pondering called like When Will He Quit or something like that. Basically, me playing games that I either flat out just don't like, like it's not my style of game, or games that are actually just bad games, poorly designed games, that kind of thing, and just basically you know ripping them apart and seeing how long I can actually stand playing it before I'm just like fuck this shit and I stop. That was something I considered and I thought might be kind of fun, but I also don't know if other people have done that. I don't know if anybody else does that. I'm sure somebody does, but I don't know if anybody popular does that, because I just I tend to not watch, like I said before, I just tend to not watch that kind of stuff. That's a huge time commitment. And so that's why I obviously don't begrudge people for not watching, you know, all of my shit, because it's a time commitment. It takes time to watch all this shit, and there's so much shit to watch out there, you can't fit it all in. So I just don't know if that would be interesting to people or whether or not I should do that. But I was thinking of games like, um, somebody actually, Revenant's Wrath, I believe, requested I play a game called Magus, or Magus, however you pronounce it. I think it's Magus. Um, terrible game. I did actually play it. I have been sitting on that. Let me actually, it should show me the date on here that I recorded this. Let me just see when I did this. It's an hour-long video from May 30th. So I've been sitting on that for almost two months now. I just haven't posted it because I haven't really found a, like an opportunity to where I was like, okay, this is a good time to post this. I haven't really had, just not really sure if I wanted to uh, post it or not, or whether there would be interest for it. But that would be the kind of game that I would do. Like I didn't beat it. I didn't finish it. I just recorded it for an hour and I was like, this is such a fucking waste of time. This game is terrible. All right, I'm done. That kind of thing. That's how it went. Another game I was thinking of was Ninja Blade. I think that's the name of it, but it was basically supposed to be like, the answer to Ninja Gaiden like they were going to s come into the action game series and really show Devil May Cry and Ninja Gaiden what an action series could do and it sucked it was terrible it was almost it was almost all just like quick time events it, it sucked it was terrible uh, I believe and so like that kind of game Asura's Wrath would actually be the same for me I know a lot of people enjoy that but I fucking hate quick time events because it's basically, quick time events to me are basically the unfun middle ground between cutscenes and gameplay. Where I'm not actually doing anything, I, I'm not actually, like, using skill to do these things that the quick time events are triggering. I am just hitting buttons as prompted by my screen. I'm basically watching a movie where it tells me if I don't hit the button that distracts me from actually watching the movie in the first place at the proper time, the movie will stop and I will no longer be able to watch the rest of it. That's what it is to me, so I fucking hate quick time events. I think they are almost entirely useless. There are occasions where quick time events are useful, like basically I think dodging, like dodging in games is basically a quick time event. That's essentially what it is, except you use uh, analyzation of the enemy to properly dodge rather than, you know, having a big bright button prompt flash on the screen real quick to let you know that you need to do something. So that's why I hate Asura's Wrath, is because there was, that game had a ton of quick time events too. So games like that, just games that I wouldn't like, but that, you know, people might enjoy watching me just be like, fuck, 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 fuck everything, fuck my life, fuck this shit, fuck everything. That kind of thing, you know, like if people, I, I know people enjoy that, and so I would, I was wondering if a game series like that would be well received. So that's another option. And that would obviously be kind of the same thing as the, you know, just playing... It would basically be the opposite of playing the games that I like, but not actually finishing them. 
because I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't do full playthroughs of these games. I'd just play until I didn't want to play anymore, and then I'd just be done. Um, so there's that option as well. So those are, I guess, that's four options, basically. Character tutorials, Street Fighter, uh, playing games that I enjoy, but not doing full playthroughs of them, and just doing, you know, some basically some footage for people to watch, like, an hour or two of stuff. Uh, and then the flip side of that, when will he quit series. I guess that's pretty much it. And obviously I'll try to throw other things in there here and there like the the doing that Evo Blaze Blue Afterthoughts video, that was actually a lot more well received than I expected. And so I would like to do some more stuff like that, just kind of like basically, you know, if, if there's news of another basically if there's news of an announcement. Speaking of news and speaking and talking about news why don't we talk about Comic Con 2014 in Ono? He's a now literally this dude went on stage for Capcom to say, "I have no news, but I will next year." Really? Re like why? Why? Nobody's gonna be hype about that. That's not gonna excite anybody. What was the point? I don't understand this guy. So yeah, that was just that quick little thing. So I'd be trying to do things like that as well. Uh, you know, as more information comes out about, like, you know, Persona 4 Arena, Guilty Gear XR. Because I'm sure Guilty Gear XR still has more characters to reveal, given that they revealed two new characters now for Persona 4. No, actually three, because Adachi is in there. Adachi, Ken, and Marie. And XR, it's only really had, I think Sin is the only new character so far. But that XR comes out after Persona 4 Arena, so I have to assume they still have something planned for Guilty Gear. So, you know, just talking about stuff like that. Just general stuff. I have this muted. That would be... I should probably turn that off. Well, that wasn't right now, was it? Oh, I was expecting command grab. I'm not sure why my 6A didn't come out there. Damn guard points. Damn it! Damn it! This is not a good start. I fucked up my Atomic Collider and everything since then has gone to shit! Oops, why did I do- I have no idea why I just tried to start that with Steve. JC. I thought for sure that would be a purple grab. A damn overdrive. And he got me with the command grab. Oh, because he delayed it with overdrive. Oh, that's a terrible start. Let me, my throat's dry. That's the reason why I lost. My throat's dry. Man, you actually have a really long time. If you don't press a button after the loss screen. Oh my god, I did it again! Nope. I need to figure out how to do that. Because for those of you that are not aware, against some characters... Fuck. Against some characters, Tager is able to do Atomic Collider into 6C Gadget Finger Whiff, and then he can do 5B in a combo, whatever combo you decide to do after that. And I need to figure out how he does those. Oh shit, he's not even gonna die. Is he? Oh yeah, he I need to figure out who we can do that against. Because that would actually allow me to do Atomic Collider Anti-Air against specific characters and actually get rewarded for it. And that would be huge. Oh my god! Oh, I waited too long. I'm trying to wait until they're low enough so I can get that Ace Ledge in there. I just know- oh my god. I just noticed the um the meter gain for the opponent is almost as much as Tager gets for Gadget Finger now. Because they nerfed Gadget Finger, I think it used to give you like 10, and I believe now it gives you like 5 or some shit. And I'm pretty sure I saw Bang get 5 meter for getting Gadget Finger. So Gadget Finger is actually kind of a bad tool because you're giving the opponent just as much meter as you're receiving. And on top of that, with the 5A nerf, there's no real reason to respect Tager pressure after. Damn it. That's another thing I need to learn. He can do it similarly to... Bad idea. 
Damn. Similarly to the um. There we go. I waited long enough there. Except now I let her out of the corner. I think I was actually close enough for 6C then. Oh my god, why can I not do? There we fucking go, holy crap. Nice sledge, Nate. Against uh, every character in the cast, I believe, but they have to be like maximum height. You can do 2C gadget finger with 5A. But yeah, it requires them to be like really high. I don't I have no idea how to confirm that. I believe a lot of people that I've seen that actually like do it. Oh my god, there's no fucking bounce on that. I love how my reaction to that overhead and the one that actually works hundred percent of the time. I used to react to that overhead every single time with 2A. Oh shit. That was bullshit. I used to react to that with 2A every single time, but now you get no reward for 2A. It's not even worth 2 anti-airing or blowing that up with 2A anymore, thanks to the fucking nerf, that's not gonna hit. <laughs> Magnetism! I'm so good at this game. She throw countered my sledge at him. Do you know how mad that she doesn't even have magnetism, Nate? Do you know how mad that makes me? You shouldn't be able to fucking throw counter command grabs. Shit. Oops, that was stupid. Fuck. I'm playing terribly. Let's just get that out of the way. This is what I get for playing on... I slept for like two hours last night. I hate that shit. We're like... I basically... I know this is the time that I need to sit down and actually go to sleep. In order to get like a proper amount, a good amount, and be rested for the rest of the day. And then I lie down and all of a sudden I'm just like, fuck. I'm wide awake. There's no way I'm going to sleep right now. Oh, it's a broken character. <laughs> I like how, like, Unlimited Bullet becomes a functional character. Oh, shit. Like, without Unlimited, without unlimited Mode and all the tools she gains while Unlimited, she would be, like, so easy. I just, I love that. It just shows how terribly she was designed. What am I doing? Don't you love that spark bolt? Fucking shit. I wanted to 2C and I was like, 2 is not gonna hit. Do Atomic Collider. But then it was too late to do the motion properly in time. Yeah, I really, I just, I enjoy it so much that the only reason Bullet's even moderately a threat is because she's in unlimited mode. I'm so good at 7... Yo, I'm so good at 720s, guys. Oh, 
God, I'm so good at combos, guys. <sighs> Fuck my life. I can't even do it. I can't do anything right. I'm a failure! Fuck you. Whoa. Counter hit spark bolt bounces the hella fast. I was I almost dropped that because I wasn't expecting her to rebound so quickly. Alright, now we are gonna get fucked. I I don't have the brain power right now necessary to defeat Unlimited Sager. I'm gonna make stupid mistakes, I'm gonna get blown up for him. See? I'm gonna make stupid mistakes, like try to use Tag with normals. Ooh. Oh, I tried to. Sp oh my god, that worked. I'm so good at 720s, guys. Oh shit, you come. Oh shit! I'm dead. Never mind, I got this. Shit, he wins. I'm so mad. Like, I called that out. I called it out properly. I just did it wrong. Because I knew he would do 720 there. So I wanted to do over overdrive and then I'd do my own 720. I didn't work at all. You fucking real? Oh, okay, good. That wouldn't hit anyone. Anyway. I deserve that. I didn't know that was coming. Alright, let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna do it again, and it's gonna be a terribly stupid mistake. But I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna get it in the third round. I'll do it in the third round. God fucking damn it. I'm so mad. Fuck! I guess it worked out. Hi. Oh shit. I almost got a perfect there. I did so well there, I didn't even get my overdrive back. I'm super happy that went that well. God, I'm killing this water. That's the downside. I always freeze. I have the big, basically the biggest normal, like, non-gallon sized water bottle I've found. It's a 1.5 liter bottle. And I just fill it up halfway before I go to sleep, throw it in the freezer. So when I wake up, it's, so it's frozen solid. And then I fill it up it right when I wake up, throw it in the refrigerator. And then usually when I'm by the time I'm done getting ready, it's decently cold. But the downside to that is that usually I drink it before it melts at all. So I'm just, oh fuck, I super jumped. I didn't mean to. It worked out. Not how I wanted it to, though. Oh, why did I twitch? I twitched. I hit a button. I know I shouldn't have hit a button, but I did. Damn. 
I was watching, I've been watching the meter gain that people get this entire time. They got, basically, throughout the process of them automatically gaining meter for when they're in, you know, like, sub, whatever, 25, 20% health. Plus the meter they get for actually getting hit by that shit. Makoto got almost 30 meter. Okay, so that is ridiculously safe. Noted. Fuck! I'm so bad. Okay, I'm gonna watch again because I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna hit this 720. So she's starting at 23. How much is she gonna get? She got exactly 20. So I guess it was closer to 25. Yes. Yo, is my, can my execution be any worse? Oh fuck, I'm dead. This is the big damage one. The one that does almost 5k by itself. So that last hit did 1700 damage. Damn. Last hit did 1700 damage. I don't know why I did JHAB. It was obviously not what I wanted. Why does that come out so late? Maybe it's only, maybe that's fourth throw only. It must be fourth throw only. Why can I not fucking get my diagonals right now? Covered from that faster than expected. That's so weird to me. That he only gets 3600 damage for spending 100 meter. I mean, I guess to say only when that's basically a third of almost everybody's life in the game. More than a third. What am I doing? So I love how I love how with Tager it's like you react properly. Like you react how you're supposed to with a fighting game character in the situation that you were in. That was not a proper re reaction, that was just pure luck. And then I dropped my combo, which I believe would have won the game. Ooh. But yeah, with Tager, it's like you reacted properly. With, you know, your button that should be an anti air, or your button that should be. You know, basically, this should work in this situation given the kind of the hitbox that the button has. But it didn't, because you're Tager. Uh. Fucking throw counter me, I'll throw counter you, and I'll show you what a real throw counter fucking does. Bitch! Why? Oh my god, that worked off. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, hit on the barest tip of it, and of course, you wouldn't want the moves to actually work. Shit, that didn't fucking work at all. It must be that must be fourth row only. Or you know what? Maybe he does. Does he do? Did he do five C in the two in the two D? I'm trying to remember. Tiku did a corner combo off of a throw that ended up doing like four point five K. I think it might have been 4.6, and it included 2D, but I can't. It might have been. It might have been 5C 2D, because it definitely looks like regular uh, 2D. There is far too slow. Fuck! I 
I tried to react to the tech with a um, 360, but he was already, he was already hitting me. Oh, he did so much damage, and he's still fucking in here for a little he wasn't as close as I expected. I love how the magnetism basically allowed him to do that combo. That was what I wanted, yes. He actually, like... Like, I'm pretty sure that was a backdash-specific thing. Like, that wouldn't have worked if I hadn't backdashed. What the fuck? Doesn't work! Super glad that I used my spark bolt there. Shit. What the f That was pure horseshit. He bounced out of like three fucking combos in a row. That's bullshit. Nice 360A that has worked every single time. Right up until I did that one. Thank you. Yo, when does he fucking stop? He's not dead, actually. Oh, I might pay for that. Oh my god, I might pay for that. Oh my god, I'm gonna pay for that. Oh, thank god. <laughs> 